Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Isaacs tablet, how you guys can get logged in, and a uh, little description of the icons you're going to see along the top of the screen once you do get logged in. So going from left to right at the top of the tablet, we're going to skip the first button. There's no function on that. So the second button from the left would be our power button. I'm going to go ahead and press it and turn on the power button. Turn on the tablet. Just give it a second there, and here we go. You guys should be able to see my login screen. Uh, back to the top of the uh, tablet along the buttons, the power, we're going to have after the power, that would be the third one to the right, will be our volume up. And then lastly, the far right button is our volume down button. Okay. On the other side of the tablet, that's pretty much all you need to know. Power on, volume up, and volume down. Okay, let's move over to our uh, login screen here. You guys can see we have two fields that need to be filled out. The first field is your driver ID, and the second field is going to be your password. Go ahead and click on driver ID. That will activate the keyboard. Okay. Your driver ID is actually your driver code. In my case, my driver code is pre-jam. I'm going to go ahead and type that in, in lowercase letters. Once I have my driver code entered in the driver ID field, I'm going to go to the lower right of the screen, the very bottom button on there. I'm going to press that button. That's my enter button, OK? By pressing that, it's going to move me from the driver ID field down to the password field. There we go. We've seen it move down here to the password field. So the password is the same as your driver ID, except it's in capital letters. To get capital letters, we're going to move to the lower left of the screen and press this up arrow button twice two quick presses, press, press. That's gonna allow our keyboard to remain in uppercase letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my driver code again in capitals. It's very important to remember that your driver code for your password is in capital letters or you're not gonna be able to log in, okay? It is case sensitive. So after my Credentials have been entered, driver ID in lowercase, password in uppercase. I'm going to move back down to my enter button and press that. It's going to take a couple of seconds to log in there after it uh, authenticates and uh, confirms my login credentials. OK. Now that we're logged in, we've logged in right up to the dashboard. You can see the dashboard is highlighted here in the upper left. OK, in the extreme upper left, what you'll notice is local time. OK, right now it's 1325. That'll give us an idea of our time. OK, underneath that, it's just the Isaacs on the go logo here. And if we keep moving to the right, we're going to come to this uh, sunny looking icon here. What this is, is your your screen brightness. You can adjust it to be brighter or adjust it to be lower. I'm going to click on it. So now that I've clicked on it, we can see the adjust screen brightness uh, has come up. You can select your brightness mode. So if, if you want to uh, customize it, I guess, to your daytime brightness you could select day and slide this uh, control brightness control wherever you would like it you can do the same thing for night move down to the nightness control and adjust your screen brightness there the other option here is automatic we select automatic the tablet will sense the ambient daylight around you or absence of it and adjust the screen to the appropriate brightness. 
after I've selected and I'm happy with my uh, screen setup as far as the brightness goes, I'm just going to press OK to back out of that. There. So I'm happy with the uh, brightness of my screen. It's pretty straightforward. Moving to the right again, you see the envelope here. That's for your messages, OK? If we click on the envelope, we're going to see uh, William Eason has sent me a message. Hi, Jamie. OK, so anything you guys are getting communication wise from uh, your fleet managers or dispatch is going to show up in the uh, in the messages section. Once you click on it and open it, you can read it or you can press the speaker to listen. OK. Uh, I like uh, my inbox to be free of old messages. So after I've listened to a message or read a message, I like to archive it so I don't have to see it anymore. It leaves my inbox here open. If uh, by chance I have to go back on my messages and, and reread something that I've already archived, I can go down to the show archived uh, section here and just check the box to bring my messages up. OK, if I need to go back and check them, that's where they are. I don't like them up, so I'm going to remove them. OK, that way I'll only see fresh messages that show up in my inbox. Beside the uh, show archived messages, we have the ability to create a new message. To create a new message, we would just select new message. And then enter in the field to bring the keyboard up, type our message, and then in the upper right of the message area, you'll see the send button to send that to dispatch or your fleet manager. OK, I'm not going to send a message right now. To lower your keyboard, this down arrow at the bottom of the screen will lower your keyboard for you. And then again, to go back away from the uh, new message. OK. Moving to the next icon, it kind of looks like a little person here, and we have the number one beside it. That one just verifies that I am logged into the uh, to the tablet. There's one person logged in as a solo driver. If we click on this uh, person icon, we have the opportunity to add a co-driver or a teammate down here. Add driver. We can also remove a driver the same way. Once you select this uh, area of the uh, tablet, in order to get back to your your uh, your Isaacs on the go, you need to click profile and re-enter your password. Remember, your password is in capital letters. Once you've had it entered, you just simply click yes. And it takes you back to your dashboard. OK. Moving to the right again, we have the square. You can see that mine is partly shaded in red and unshaded in white over here. Uh, what this square uh, tells you is if there's any data diagnostics or malfunctions with your ELD. OK, an unshaded box means there's no diagnostics or malfunctions. In my case, where I'm not in a truck right now and in a training uh, situation, we're not connected. So we have half of our box shaded, stating that we have a di data diagnostic uh, issue or a data diagnostics are present. OK, the other, the bottom half of the, the uh, square that is a malfunction. Uh, if, if that's shaded in, there's going to be a malfunction present somewhere. If the whole square is shaded, we have both diagnostics and malfunction issues, and it would probably be a, a call to someone to help set that, uh, straighten that out, some support. OK, moving to the right again, we have this little uh, camera looking icon here. That just uh, verifies if it's green is saying the tablet is connected to cellular to a cellular network. If it's red, the tablet is not connected to a cellular network. The little truck icon. OK, if the truck icon is green, the tablet is connected to the vehicle network. If the truck is red, the tablet is not connected to the vehicle network. 
Here we are back at the dashboard. On the dashboard, we can see the driver's name that's logged in, myself. We can see the unit number of your truck. In my case, it's Isaac 2. This is a training tablet. In your truck, you'll see your actual unit number. We can see that I have no active trip. We can see what rule set I'm in. I'm on 770 Canada South. Okay. Coming back over here, dashboard is where we are now. It's it's highlighted. The next uh, position down would be our messages, our trips. If we have any trips, we're going to see these stops and activities highlighted. In this case, I do not have any. Okay. Coming down again, our logbook. This looks familiar to everybody, I'm sure. We're all familiar with our graft. Okay. Um, inspections. We can see presently that uh, my truck or Isaac's 2 is inspected with the green check mark here. I can go over and select a new inspection just by simply clicking on that button. Documents. Documents contain your Isaac on the go quick start PF, PDF, your Isaac on the go quick reference roadside inspection instructions, and your Isaac on the go quick reference malfunctions and data diagnostics instructions. These have to be in the truck somehow. Uh, we also have paper copies here in case your ELD goes down. If we click on the quick start guide, it's in full color and gives a very good instructions. If you guys uh, find yourselves needing some help, it's always worthwhile just to open up the uh, documents, select the document that you need, and as you can see, uh, it gives you very good colored, detailed instructions on how to navigate and what to do to do a certain task.